Welcome to A to Z Nursing Vlogs. This video is about the nursing management of COVID-19 infection. Let's dive into the video. Nursing management for patients with COVID-19 infection includes the following. As normal, the nursing assessment, nursing diagnosis, nursing care planning and goals, interventions and evaluation. Let's see them one by one. Nursing assessment of a patient suspected of COVID-19 should include the travel history. Healthcare provider should obtain the detailed travel history for patients being evaluated with fever and acute respiratory illness. Number two, physical examination. Patients who have fever, cough and shortness of breath and people who have travel history. Nursing diagnosis is usually based on the assessment data and it includes Infection related to failure to avoid pathogens secondary to exposure to COVID-19. Deficient knowledge related to unfamiliarity with disease transmission information. Number three, hypothermia related to increase in metabolic rate. Number four, impaired breathing pattern related to shortness of breath. And number five, anxiety related to unknown etiology of the disease. Care planning and goals. The following are the major nursing care planning goals for COVID-19. Prevent the spread of infection. To learn more about the disease and its management. Improve body temperature levels. Restore breathing pattern back to normal. And to reduce the anxiety. Nursing interventions. Monitoring the vital signs. The infection usually begins with a high temperature. So the monitoring of the temperature is very important. Monitor the respiratory rate of a patient as shortness of breath is another common problem. Monitoring the O2 saturation because respiratory compromise results in hypoxia. Maintaining the respiratory isolation. Keep tissues at the patient's bedside. Dispose secretions properly. Instruct the patient to cover mouth when coughing or sneezing. Use masks and advise those entering the room to wear masks as well. Place respiratory stickers on chart, linens and so on. Next one is enforcing strict hand hygiene. Teach the patient and folks to wash hands after coughing to reduce or prevent the transmission of the virus. The next important intervention is to manage hypothermia. Use appropriate therapy for elevated temperature to maintain normothermia and reduce metabolic needs. The last important nursing intervention is to educate the patient and the folks. Provide information on disease transmission, diagnostic testing, disease process, complications and protection from the virus. The nursing goals are met as evidenced by the following. Patient was able to prevent the spread of infection. Whether the patient was able to learn more about the disease and its management. Whether the patient was able to improve the body temperature levels. The patient was able to restore breathing patterns back to normal and whether the patient was able to reduce his anxiety levels. The documentation guidelines for a patient with COVID-19 includes the following. Individual findings including factors affecting interactions, nature of social exchanges, specifics of individual behavior, cultural and religious beliefs and expectations, plan of care, teaching plan, responses to interventions, teaching and actions performed and the attainment or progress towards the desired outcome. These are the nursing management of a patient infected with COVID-19 infection. If the contents of this video are informative, like the video and share the content with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching.